and one day I'm going to attempt to teach my dog Ari how to successfully find my lost keys. Now Ari's normal diet consists of raw frozen food, but since I'm going to be teaching her a new command, we're going to be using continual reinforcement. And because of that, I've weighed out approximately eight ounces of freeze dried coated kibble that I can use during the training process today. Puppies! First step, we want to get our dog interested in the key. So I'm going to treat it just like the hand touch technique you've seen in some of my other videos. So I'm going to present it to her once she touches it with her nose. I'm going to use my terminal marker and deliver a reward. That's going to be the first step. So here we go. I'm going to show her that I got the keys and then I'm going to move back free. All right. So she touched it. I marked free, creating a strong positive association. Oh, make her work for it. Make her work for it. Ah! Free. Good. Go climb. All right. Simple enough. Now I'm gonna throw it and I'm gonna try to make it interesting and exciting that she's gonna wanna go to the keys. Once she gets her nose directly over the keys, that's when I'm going to use my terminal marker. Break. Oh, oh. oh she, didn't, she didn't see it. Well, we're not, not going as smoothly as I hoped. All right. Free, good. Good girl. Very good. Free. Very good. Make it easy so they can see. Free. Excellent. Very nice, Ari. Of course, we're going to want to put a command on this. Help me find them, Ari. Where'd they go? Here they are. Now, that's a poopies. Come here. And one more. Free. Good girl. Excellent. And that's all I'm gonna do for the first step. Step two, we are going to introduce our dogs to the command. I'm going to be using the command find it. With this exercise, you can say the command multiple times. It's a little different from teaching a sitter or a down because our dog's actively trying to search to find the keys. You're gonna to wanna to place your dog on a climb platform. Then you're going to take the keys, toss them. Once they land, tell your dog to find it. Or again, whatever command you choose. Once your dog gets to the keys and looks at them, that's when you're going to use your terminal marker and reward your dog. It should look something like this. Find it. Free. Good girl. Very good. Once, once they're back on the climb, you're going to toss it again. Free. <laughs> I'll take it. It wasn't perfect. All right, go climb. All right. Taking the keys one more time and tossing them. Find it. She went right past it. Free. Good girl. Excellent. Nice job. Come on, baby. I'm going to make this one a little bit harder and I'm going to throw it a little farther this time. So we're going to take it and toss it over there. Find it. Free. Very good, Ari. And for the last one, let's get a nice close up. Ari, right, go climb. All right. Excellent. And I'm going to take the keys and toss it right in front of you guys. And I'm going to tell Ari, find it. Free. Very good, Ari. Nice job. All right. Now we're going to teach our dog the indication. The way I'm going to do that is basically the exact same thing we did on the last step. But when our dog gets to the keys, instead of using our terminal marker right away, we are going to tell our dog what we li would like them to do for the indication. For Ari, I'm going to tell her to down. So once she gets to the keys, I'm going to say down. Once she lays down, terminal marker, reward. And we're going to do maybe three or four of these. Here we go. Find it. Down. Free. Good. Very good. Climb. Find it. Down. Free. Very nice, Ari. Good girl. Very good. Find it.
so close. She's really working. Down, free. Very nice, Ari. We're gonna get one more. Nice and close. All right. Find it. Free. Perfect. And that one, she indicated all on her own. For this step, we're going to do one thing slightly different from the last step. Instead of throwing the keys, I'm going to act like I place it in three different locations. Of course, I'm only going to place it in one of those three. Then I'm going to tell her to find it. Once she finds it, I still may have to help her by telling her to down and then giving her the terminal marker. And I may also make her hold the position. We'll see, let's play by ear. But you're gonna see exactly how I'm going to do this. So I set down like I'm setting something there. I'm setting something here. And I'm setting something here. And then I tell her, find it. Or find it. <laughs> find it. Okay, go climb. So she's having a little bit of a hard time, so I'm gonna show her the keys to let her know what's going on. It's the key, remember? Let's go climb. Okay, so now she knows what's going on. All right, we'll do it one more time. And I think she saw it, <laughs> but that's okay. Find it. Down. Good. And then I'm gonna trade the keys for the food. Go climb. All right, we're gonna do one more. So boom, maybe I put it there. Maybe I put it right here. Maybe I put it back over here. Who knows where I put it? I don't know. Find it. Good, good girl. And again, we'll do a trade. Go climb. All right, come on, baby. Ari. Get your butt over here. Don't make me look bad. All right, one last one, and then we'll be able to move on to the very last step. So I'm gonna bring it a little bit farther this way. Maybe I'm putting it right there, we don't know. Maybe right there, and maybe right here. Find it. Good. And again, I'll do a little trade, take the keys, give her some treats. Okay. We're on the last step. What we're going to do for this is I'm going to take the keys as if I was just out on a walk, you know, and I'm not paying attention and maybe I go to grab my phone and when I grab my phone, I accidentally drop my keys and I get home and I go, oh no, where are my keys? Good thing I have Ari. She's gonna come out and help us find it. All right, we have Ari here and we're gonna tell her, find it. She found him. 